Hi, today I'm going to do a look with pastel eye colours because it's a really big trend for spring. Lots of the designers had pastels in their collections and also there's loads of beautiful candy coloured limited editions from all the different makeup brands available so it's really quite fun to play with colour. I've got a beautiful model today from Holland. Her name is Maeve and I hope you like the look. Okay, I'm going to start by using Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation in Alabaster. And I think this colour will be great as it's slightly pinky and it's also very pale. So just working a really thin layer into Mova's skin. Next I'm going to use Inglot Under Eye Concealer and this is LC1. So again, it's a really pale shade. Just look up for me, Mother and make sure that's blended in with the surrounding skin. Now before I do anything else, I'm just going to do a touch of powder, not too much. So next I'm going to use some of this NARS Pro Prime. I'm going to use this on your eyelids simply because it helps the eyeshadow to stay for longer, so it stops it from creasing, but also it helps with the intensity. So the colours will show a lot more and because I'm using quite pale shades, pastel-y colours, they will look really just more colourful. So for pastels, I'm thinking something really pale because she's obviously very pale. There's this beautiful palette called Swimming Pool from Dior. I think I'm going to use this palette by Givenchy because I love the kind of blue and pink and lavender. I think the thing with pastels is you can sort of have fun with them. They look so pretty, don't they? They look like little sweeties. <laughs> I'm going to start with a greeny colour. So what I like to do with pastels is just almost daub the colours on. So I'm starting with the greeny shade. It's a lovely duck egg blue actually in the corner. So just dabbing on the colour. Next I'm going to use the lilac-y colour. I'm going to use this colour on the outer edges. So again, just daubing it on. I'm also going to bring that colour underneath. Just look up for me, Maeve. That's so pretty, that colour. I love it. I love I this combination. Like it. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Do you ever wear colours on your eyes? Sorry? Do you ever wear like, colour dye makeup? Um, yeah, I do, but... I also prefer the pastels because um, if I wear real bright colors, then it makes me even more pale than I am. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, these pastel colors are perfect for you. I have to say, I love your eyebrows. Thank you. You're not plucking them? No, I'm not. It's perfect. I love them. They're so lovely. Such a nice shape. Thanks. I'm trying to um, get a campaign together to get people to not pluck them so much. Oh, all not right. to have their eyebrows so thin. I mean, I do. I don't mind plucking a little bit for shape, but not too far. But not so far because yeah. you see so many girls, especially young girls like you. Yeah, yeah. Lots of uh, my friends pluck them way too far, and then I always ask them like, "You, you, you just took away all the shape when I'm plucking them, and then especially when I pluck them uh, on the upper side of the brow, then you above just... above the brow. Yeah, yeah." yeah. yeah. It take that really takes away the shape more than anything else. Yeah. I agree. And the problem is they don't always grow back. So that's a little bit of the lilac-y colour. Just keeping it at this sort of this half and underneath. I'm gonna add a little bit of pencil. Now I'm gonna go in with the pinky tone that's in the palette. And I'm just gonna dab on. So now I'm just gonna finish off with the pinky colour. I'm just gonna add this right into the centre. In between the lilac and the green. We'll blend that in in a second. This gives a little candy, candy-like vibe. I'm also going to do, look up for me, maybe just a little bit of the pink underneath here as well. Just to mirror the top. It's super pretty. Love that. 
the brown that's in the palette is actually perfect for darker skin tones because I always find that pastels very pale pastels like this look amazing on girls who have MAFE sort of colouring, so very, very pale. But if you are a little bit darker, firstly, you need richer colours, otherwise they'll be too white. And secondly, it's always nice to combine the pastels with either a brown or a grey or something that just um, brings the definition back if you're dark-haired or dark-skinned. Now for Maeve, I'm going to carry on with the pastels because she's so fair, it's, it's perfect without any browns or, or greys. I'm going to use this Barry M Super Soft Pencil in this beautiful lilac-y shade. I'm just going to trace along to add a little touch more definition without ruining the soft effect. Just close for me, but just especially around the outer edge here. And I can just buff this in in a second. Let's see. I'm just going to set that pencil with the same lilac -y eyeshadow just to soften it a little bit. Top and bottom. Look up. Next, I'm going to use mascara. I'm going to use a brown mascara. Again, simply because I don't want to spoil the effect of all the pretty pale colours and also because of Maeve's colouring. I think again if you're a little bit darker, either dark hair or darker skinned, you kind of need the black mascara to give you the definition with these sorts of colours. Now uh, before I go on to the rest of Maeve's face, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of brow powder, but not very dark. just want to fill them in slightly. This is a body shop brow powder. I don't want to... Um, Again, make them too heavy with the lovely light, airy eye colours. Next, I'm going to use a Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Wild Rose. So, really pretty pink colours. Mix those together so we get a nice shimmery effect. And just going to look a little bit under and onto the cheekbone there. And just bring a touch here gives a nice shimmery effect. So I'm just going to keep the blush a very subtle because I want the main focus to be on May's eyes. But I think if you are, if you do have a darker skin tone, little things like making sure you've got enough blush on, using a black mascara, using a neutral liner, all of these things will help to stop you from looking too washed out with pastels. And for lips, I'm going to use number seven's Nourishing Lip Shine. This launches, it's limited edition. It comes out in May. There's two tones, there's a peach, and this is the pinky, pinky colour. It's kind of like a lip balm with a little bit of tint. It feels nice and smooth, isn't it? It does. Moisturising, have a feel, rub your lips together. And it's not sticky. Mm. It's got one last finishing touch and it's this very, very pale blue eyeshadow which is very iridescent. This is by Bourgeois. I'm just going to add a little bit into that in a corner just to give a teeny bit more light. So that's the finished look. What do you think, Mev? I really like it. I really do because it's um, with pastel colors. I think it suits me better with my pale skin and yeah, your it feels like summer. Yeah, yeah, it definitely feels like summer. I think um, if you do have darker skin or hair or you need more definition, I think the trick of combining a neutral, whether you put a little bit of brown shadow in or a little bit of grey, really helps. Or whether it's just liner to sort of ground the pastels and stop them looking too washed out. And also using a black mascara if you've got darker hair will also help to stop you looking washed out. Um, but I think they're just so fresh and so pretty and um, they can be adapted to suit different skin tones. So it's springtime and let's just play.